We have made it to Kyoto, and I am so excited for Act 2. I was actually in Osaka yesterday, but I ended up not vlogging because it was raining all day, and it was just a lot to go through if I did that. But I did have a lot of fun for that day trip, um, and now I'm here in Kyoto for the next two nights. I'm excited to see like a whole different perspective and vibe, because people are saying like Kyoto is more chill than Tokyo, and so let's get it poppin'. There are so many of these little like shopping plazas in Japan and I was in Osaka yesterday They had so many and it came in handy because they had like a rooftop because girl it was raining But it also was dangerous because girl I did some damage because all these stores were so cute I feel like the US doesn't have a lot of cute things like that. It's just so meh in comparison to Japan We have made it to Kyoto, but this is the Fushi Inari Shrine, I believe. And it's so beautiful here. I love the architecture. I'm looking for the iconic gates. Apparently it's a long walk. I'm not sure if I wanna walk all that because honestly, I'm just like, as long as I get a photo op and say that I went there, I don't have to walk through the whole thing because there's so many other things that I wanna do as well. So we are here and we wanna go all the way to these gates, but girl, like I said, I don't know if I wanna walk all those motherfucking steps. I have never walked so much in my life in the past week and a half. Oh my God. But you know what, that's okay. I usually just sit at home anyway, so this is good for me, this is healthy. We gotta be optimistic, okay? So once you make it out of the gates, you enter this little cute courtyard area and then you can enter it back again to go back. Y'all, I have the best strangers taking my photos and they just snap every single time. Everyone's asking me, how do you get strangers to take your photos? You just ask them and if anything, like they're probably tourists too and it's only taking out like one minute out of their day. And if you don't like that, you can always ask another stranger and redo it. If you just tell them exactly what you want, girl, and it slays every time. I really like the nature and the wind and the greenery. Such a nice change of pace from the city. And I'm glad I got to do both like Tokyo and Kyoto. The cutest parfait with the cutest view. Yes, honey. I am so glad I brought my puffer because girl is windy today. But we have the cutest parfait ever. Look at that, the little Tory Gates. It has a rice biscuit, matcha ice cream, sweet beans, rice puff, like a rice crispy puff, matcha, soft, and agar. What is that? It's at the bottom. The parfait part. Okay, taste test. Ooh. Ow! Girl, I don't know if that's supposed to be edible. Oh, it's really hard. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but this in the little mochi ball, so freaking cute. Mm. We have made it to our next destination and I'm excited. This is the part where it's supposed to look more traditional. Boom, how fun is that? Everyone is in like kimonos. I kind of want to rent one. If I find one, I low-key will do it because why not? We have made it to the Ghibli store. How cute and fitting is this for Kyoto? I have to get a souvenir here for myself. As of this year, I've just become such a knick-knack person in collecting things that are cute, but I can't help it. Everything's just so cute, I have to have it all. Oh, these bowls are so pretty, but they're gonna be heavy if I try to pack them. We went from the Ghibli store into the Sanrio store, and then suddenly there's Demon Slayer. Oh my God, a huge Totoro. to the Starbucks in Kyoto. It's so cute in here, but it's booked and busy, girl. Girl, they ran out of all the cute drinks, so I just got a coffee, and I don't even drink coffee. Oh 
Oh my damn, it's getting booked and busy up there, up the stairs. Oh, there's so many stairs here. Oh my goodness. Oh, see, good thing I didn't do those shrine steps because apparently they were like a thousand steps. I don't even know, girl, but lordy, woo. At least it's scenic and beautiful. So it's like, you know what? Even though I'm walking a lot, everything is so pretty to look at. Ooh. I'm doing it y'all, kimono rental is happening and I'm so excited. These are the different plans that they have. I'm gonna go with this one cause this one's the most popular and I said, you know, not too big, not too small, just right. It is time for my selection to pick my pieces. So these are all the different parts. They're all laid out by sizes and by category. It's so organized. Y'all, I did it. I'm in a freaking kimono. I feel so beautiful. I feel so feminine. I feel like I'm about to get married. Kim Young, where you at? The hair. I literally did not know my hair could look like this. I have such thin hair, and so the fact that she teased it and like put so many bobby pins in it, it made it look full and voluptuous. Oh, girl, the talent. I wasn't allowed to film the getting ready process, but oh my goodness, I have never felt more pretty in my life. The fact that I also like chose my outfit, like I picked out the pieces. My two favorite colors are green and pink. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Now it's time to take over Kyoto. I have an hour and a half. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now this looks like a great photo op for my kimono shoot. The fact that this was spontaneous too, I was like, fuck it, why not? This was not my agenda, but I'm having so much fun. As you know, I'm just slaying in Kyoto in my kimono. I ran into someone in the flawless man. Hi, Hi. Josh, from Canada. Woo, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Living my best tourist <laughs> life. I'm meeting the best people, by the way. Everyone's so sweet and nice, so. Eat. <laughs> I have made it into my palace. Look at this view, look at this view. But during the fall time, they said it was beautiful. Ah! Gagged. Oh, they're kicking us out, girl, they're kicking us out. <laughs> We close at 6 p.m. They said, you gotta go. Y'all better get your ass out. Okay, okay, jeez. <laughs> Are you joking me? Look at this view. I literally made it at the right time with the sun setting right at the mountain. Ah! Oh, you know, just me at a rooftop bar with my kimono hair. I deserve this. This is so good. And like, I don't need anyone to provide this for me. I can just provide it for myself. And that's what I love about the solo trip is like, you want that, babe? I got you. I'm babe. Like, oh my gosh. And just the fact that I can afford these experiences and allow myself to do these things and give myself permission to go it's just so fulfilling and so rewarding <laughs> oh my goodness cheers besties to self-love and success i ordered truffle chips thinking chips or fries but they were literal chips <laughs> that's okay i'll still eat it i'm so glad i brought this jacket but anyway they're so bougie they have a blanket. That's how you know you're going to a fancy place. They give you a blanket. Ooh, wow. <gasps> Arigato. Here we have it, a Japanese Wagyu steak in Japan. <gasps> Bone apple tag. And ending it off with dessert. Am I gonna gain weight? Yes. Do I give a fuck? No, because when else am I gonna be in freaking Japan eating creme brulee? Like, such a moment. So I made it to my hotel room in Kyoto and I don't think y'all are ready to see what I'm about to share. So my room doesn't have a room number. It literally is just called the Kabuki room and I think it might be one if not the only rooms in this hotel. It's on the top floor, like this is VIP and I booked it myself. Okay, but you walk in and then it's already themed. So cute, like the door. You are about to be shook. Oh! Have you ever stayed in a room like this before? Wait for the best part. 
the ceiling. The frickin' ceiling! Oh my goodness, and there's frickin' lanterns in my room. Like, where am I? It's giving spirited away, and I'm living for it. Okay, but to go to the bathroom, this is the kabuki door. This is the shower, and you're greeted with the kabuki mask. This is where you get ready and all that stuff. And then if you want to go to the toilet, it's in a separate room, honey. Are you ready? <gasps> oh, how cute! This literally is going to be the cutest place I have ever taken a number two. Wait, let me sit in the little chair. I don't even know what this is for. Is this to, like, eat and, like, watch TV and maybe get ready? <gasps> I love this for me. This is such a unique experience, and this is exactly what I wanted. And the fact that I did this for myself, like, I am not sponsored or anything, and I found this place, and I was just like, fuck it, why not? I'm just so happy and proud of myself for truly giving myself the life that I deserve, and really enjoy my own company, because this literally is meant for two people. You know, Tay Young was supposed to come, but he's just so busy. So, you know what? I'm here for two nights, which, you know, makes this room really worth it. So, night one and night two. Okay, you and I both. We're gonna look at the view together. <gasps> oh! Hi! Do I pull on this? How do I... How do I... How do I do you? <gasps> oh, you just yeet! And it goes up? <gasps> oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I just turned off all the lights to show you all the view from my hotel room in Kyoto! <gasps> Wow! Wait, every time you enter the room, listen. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Wait, what? You can use a big mirror behind these curtains? Okay, open sesame. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god! That was the coolest thing ever. This room is like twice the size that I thought it was now. Fuck! All right, I had so much fun on my first day in Kyoto. I'm gonna call it a night. I had so much fun being a princess in Japan, being trans and being visible for all people, people that live here, tourists, because I did get a lot of stares and I could tell what kind of stares they were. Um, but for the most part, it's like, you can't even understand what the heck they're saying because you know, even the foreigners are like from all over the world. So even if they were saying something bad, I can't even understand you! But yeah, this whole moment has truly made me so blessed and grateful and proud of myself because I was able to be strong to do something like that by myself, being trans, taking myself out to a bougie dinner alone, and then taking myself to this freaking awesome room. But, ah! Love you all so much, and I will TTYL!